So now that we have some basic understanding of how we can create new routes and how we can handle request for those routes inside our controller, why don't we create our first module inside our project? So to create a new module in Nest.js, we will use the CLI option. So because we, I have installed nest as a global module right when i run nest it gives me these options to work with so here i can see i have something called module generate a module declaration and this is something which we are going to use so the command which i need to execute is nest space g okay that is for generate you can see it here generate a nest element and then space I can do module or what I understand is I can also do MO so let me try MO and then the name of the module and if we want we can specify a path and then the module name and it will then create a folder and then the module inside it so why don't we do modules slash um, quiz So it created a module.ts file and it updated app.module. Okay. So let me see. Let's go into our code base. So it added this quiz module as an imports. So why don't we remove this and see what can happen? Okay. Obviously, nothing is happening here, but then we haven't even created a controller or any route. So let's first try to do that. So inside module uh, folder, we can see we have this module file. It is just a basic file till now. And that is inside this quiz folder. But we need a controller, right? And we have an option over here to create controllers as well. So why don't we do that? Nest G controller has a short form of CO. So CO modules hmm. wonder how the path will be quiz and then quiz controller how do we name it quiz controller and i know i'm not going to write the tests right now so i i did a no spec additional flag let me see what happens okay again it updated the app module for some reason let's not do that sometimes the automatic imports can create a little bit of problem but the basic idea is okay it created the quiz controller inside here which i don't want to do why don't we put it right inside the quiz folder and i get rid of this folder as well Anyways, the controller is a very simple file. We can generate it ourselves as well. So it's just an export class which says quiz controller, right? The controller has a decorate decorator, this at the rate controller, which says any URL which is starting with quiz will be here. I mean, it's like a prefix which we do uh, in our routes in many of the frameworks like in Laravel. So this is a prefix that all the routes in this controller will be prefixed with quiz okay i have problem the the tab spaces are coming as four because my text editor is pretty heavily um configured for laravel development so why don't we do editor config root is true all files in here character set will be utf8 end of line what else uh, i think it's insert file final new line is true okay so that we have one indent size this is the most important part so in, insert final line means there will be one um you know extra line after you know the last line of code indent size indent style will be space 
and trim trailing white space to true. I mean, this is not necessary, but I strongly recommend you have something like this so that the code is you know, very well formatted when you say, uh, you know, save those files because I have editor config. So these things will be there. And now if I try to save and see the tab spaces are two. So this is what I wanted to do. It's happening. Now let me create one function which says get get all quiz. So let's just assume it's a get URL. Okay. And in here, why don't we return an array of quiz or rather some numbers and see if we are able to get that. So now what I am going to do is because we are doing API based development, I'm going to use the Postman client rather than a browser to test whatever we are doing. If you don't have this application, I strongly recommend it because yeah, without this application, API development will be very difficult for to test. Okay. So when you, when you have this installed, you can, you know, create new requests. Now this is where we add our URL. I know the thing will be running on port 3000. Okay, because we have the app running on port 3000 and then if we do quiz ideally we should get something right our application is running yes it does so if i do send it says quiz not found that's a little weird and if i do something it is sending the response which we had created in our first video which is inside app controller this by the way, I just realized there is, let me see, uh, reveal in finder, what all folders do we have? This is a little strange. Um, so inside source, we have modules and then modules has quiz and this. So I don't need this, right? Okay. Okay. So something is wrong. This controller is not getting registered. Why? The reason is, this is the module which is for quiz, but this quiz module doesn't know that it has a controller. Okay, so we need to do that. Let's just add quiz controller over here. And now let's just try our app restarted, but I don't see the controller over here as well, which means if I again do quiz, it still gives me 404. Why? Because the quiz module knows that there is a controller, but the app itself doesn't know that there is a quiz module in this application. And that's why the imports needs to say which all module we are dealing with. So I will add this. So now you can see we have a new route in here mapped as slash quiz. Which means now if I go to postman and now if I hit enter, I get the request. So you need to understand how a module works, how the application knows about this module and how the module gives the information that, you know, I have a controller. For example, you know, we added the quiz module in here, but we haven't added the controller. The controller was added inside this. Now, if I remove this definition, Ideally, the, yes, the route should not work. Let me hit again. It again says 404. Why? Because our quiz modules definition doesn't say that it has a controller. So you need to add these things, these um, you know, definitions in your module so that the rest of the application knows it. Now, the question is, why do we need to do this? Why, why do I need to say that this module has a controller and stuff? The reason is, see, Nest.js is building all the dependencies and you know bootstrapping the application. And we don't have a routes file. So how will it know which all routes to create? So the process is that it will you know, go to the app module. It will understand which all modules are there in this application. And then when it is you know, loading 
each and every module it will load the dependencies and the features which are available with that module and so the app module knows that we have quiz module and the quiz module says that there is a controller with me which is this okay the last thing let me try this out so the quiz module has a controller definition let me remove this okay this is something which i haven't tried myself as well but i remove this um, you know, dec uh, this declaration over here so now the route has gone but what if i add the controller over here i need to save okay and it does load that route which means now it will work but then you know the thing is we are kind of short circuiting the module and we are loading the controller directly which i don't think is a good way to do because we will have different things in this module so i will undo this but yeah i just wanted to show you that this is still possible okay and this is done quiz controller and in here i'll just add back this and our routes are working so yeah this is how we create a module in nest stay tuned for the next videos